A state-of-the-art brain surgery is changing the lives here in Portland. Brittany Falkers introduces us to a man with debilitating tremors who now has a new lease on life and a new treatment at OSU. It's such a difference. It's like all of a sudden you have your life back. Oscar LaSalle like has before, a renewed zest for life. I would say I feel normal. I really do. Normal might not seem like a major feat to some, but for this 76-year-old, it's huge. I was just all over the place and I couldn't control it. He has essential tremor, an often overlooked neurological disorder that causes involuntary shaking. He also has Parkinson's disease, which he says is manageable. The tremor, however, had become unbearable, making daily tasks like eating nearly impossible. It got to the point where, where I was very self-conscious and uh, it was embarrassing. And I really didn't want to go out where there were too many other people. It got so bad, you know, he avoided going out to restaurants altogether. That, but that was Oscar happened. then, so and this is Oscar now. It's, it's not perfect, but it's the closest thing to perfect. His success comes after a surgery here at OHSU that uses state-of-the-art electrodes to precisely target areas in the brain that cause tremor. The electrodes will be placed deep inside the brain. So deep brain stimulation, or DBS, is a well-established treatment, but OHSU is just one of a handful of U.S. centers to use new directional electrodes made available in just the past three years. It's all mapped with um, the MRI. Dr. Dr. Dalaram Safapur says this method controls the tremor while also minimizing unwanted side effects like slurring speech or wobbly balance. But with the um, directionality of the, the contacts now, we can um, still have the benefits but stay away from the side effects. Um, so this has been a, the biggest um, advancement over the past several years. We caught up with Oscar during a programming session with Dr. So, Safapur, yeah, adjusting the controls of brain stimulation to, to minimize those side effects. I feel a tingling on Tingling the right there. So I know I have a side effect right there and we'll go back where the tremor was well controlled and I didn't have any side effects. Oscar is learning how to program the electrodes as well to control his symptoms from home. Just a few months after surgery, Oscar is ready to get back to the things he loves, like flying. And he's even planning a cross-country trip with his two grandsons this summer. But I enjoy everything that, that normal people enjoy. And it's, it's nice to have that freedom. Doctors at OHSU say there are an enormous number of people with essential tremor who could benefit from surgical intervention. Essential tremor is believed to be eight times more widespread than Parkinson's. Now there's an extensive process to make sure a patient is the right candidate for the surgery. And if you're interested in learning more, we'll have that for you at KGW.com. Back to you. Thanks, Brittany.